Let's look at this IMO problem, a conditional inequality. Assume x, y, and z are positive numbers and their sum is one. Prove that x, y plus y, z plus z, x minus 2xyz is less than or equal to 7 over 27. First, we have an observation. The equality holds when x, y, and z are all equal to one third. This gives us a hint that the equality might be related to the so-called arithmetic geometric inequality. Another trick is the elimination of variables using the given condition. The left-hand side of the inequality is cyclic to x, y, and z. So without loss of generality, we can assume z is the smallest number among three numbers x, y, and z. In this case, z is less than or equal to one third. Now we can use x plus y equals one minus z to simplify the left hand side of the inequality. First, we combine the first and the last terms of the inequality and the factor of xy because xy times 1 minus 2z and then combine the two terms in the middle. Take out the z, we got the z times x plus y. Now we replace x plus y with 1 minus z. Look at this expression. Except the first two variables, x, y, all the remaining part contain only one variable, z. Question, can we further eliminate x and y? This is where the arithmetic geometric inequality come in. AMGM inequality says that square root of x, y is less than or equal to x plus y divided by 2. If we square both sides, we got x, y is less than or equal to x plus y divided by 2 squared. And we replace x, y with 1 minus z. Now we establish an inequality for x, y and an expression in z. So the first part of the inequality above becomes x, y times 1 minus 2z is less than or equal to an expression in z. Now we put everything together x, y plus y, z plus z, x minus 2 x, y, z equals xy times 1 minus 2z plus z times 1 minus z. And the first part is less than an expression in z as we calculated in the previous page. And to simplify it, we got an expression. Actually, it is a cubic polynomial in z. What we need is that this cubic polynomial is less than or equal to 7 over 27. Using cross multiplication, we want to prove that 54z cubed minus 27z squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 for z between 0 and 1 third. This can be done by factorization. We know z equal one third might be a critical point, so we break the middle term negative seven z squared into two parts: negative eighteen z squared and negative nine z squared, and group the polynomial into two parts. 
The reason we want to do this is that both two groups contain a factor three d minus one. Take that out, we got 3d minus 1 times 18d squared minus 3d minus 1. The second quadratic polynomial contains 3d minus 1 as a factor again. So this polynomial is positive, I mean non-negative and it holds when z equals one-third. And the job is done. Thank you for watching.